This time on Jairus of All, I am very excited because I start building the coolest thing that I've ever made. There are an incredible amount of video game weapons out there that I could try to make, but it's extremely rare that one comes along that's possible and as awesome as the Manus Blades from Cyberpunk 2077. I did say possible, not identical, because <laughs> in the game it comes out of your arm and it's cybernetic, that technology doesn't exist, and it would mean I'd have to chop my arm off to do it. I'm gonna build it on top of my arm, but it will retain what it does in the game. I'll still be able to come up out of a container and I'll have a blade that extends and retracts and it will be fully articulating. This is going to be difficult. I'm gonna have to reach into my bag of tricks and use everything that I can to try to make this possible, like carbon fiber, titanium, microcontrollers, because I'm gonna need computers to help me out and run in these things once they're on my arms. But you gotta start somewhere. Initially, I made this little cardboard thing as like a proof of concept, but it actually served two purposes far more than that. Now I have a guide for the size that I can make this thing because I can't do it to the size that they say it is in the game because it's wildly unrealistic. But this also got me started on a project that right now I feel very overwhelmed by. When I have this many complex things that all have to work together, it's hard to figure out where to start. So starting to make anything will get you going. And now that I've built this, I realize that I need to build the blade first because that will determine how the rest of the me mechanisms are put together. I don't want to make the base and then have to rebuild it because the dimensions on the blade are different than I thought they would be when I finally get it finished. So it's time to build the top contraption piece thing, Mantis Cutter Delio. <laughs> This template that I made took a very long time to draw because I was working out exactly how I was gonna make this thing. But now I have a full size plan for what I'm making. This is the actual size of what will articulate on the top of the whole mechanism. But I scanned this to replicate these parts so I don't have to draw this dimensionally accurate picture over and over again. And then I printed it and I glued it to more of this poster board. That way I can have multiple templates and I will use these to get them five pieces of steel, six, seven, seven pieces of steel for this section here. And then I'm using titanium for the blade to save weight. This is the knife part that out of the sheathy thing on the Manus blades. And I made this out of titanium because it's the strongest metal that I have right now. I don't have any high carbon steel and this is lighter and it holds an edge reasonably well. And it fits inside of this piece, which is the center part of the sheath. It's a very, very tight tolerance. I've spent days making all of these pieces by hand with a hacksaw and files and a grinder to make sure that they are perfect because this is going to be extended via air pressure. And to hold it in place, 
It fits inside of this eighth inch piece because it's eighth inch and then there's a 14 gauge plate that goes on each side and that will hold it side to side as well as provide a stop for it because there will be a small piece of 14 gauge that gets applied to this part here that will slide in this track that is unfinished because I'm tired of grinding and it'll whack into that and keep it from flying out of the end. This will also double as a keeper. It's just like a liner lock knife. There will be a little tab in here that tries to bend in. Thing goes past it, it'll lock in place behind it and hold it out. That way I can do the stabbies. And then for retract, that will be pulled out of the way and there will be a piece of elastic connected to it that pulls it back into the sheath, ready to be deployed again whenever I want. That can't be open, so there are also these plates that are 20 gauge steel that go on the outside and cover it up and will allow me to make it look like the sheath in the game. But I'm really tired of grinding and I have a cool experiment. So time to put the blood groove on this experiment time. I've done this before on the channel. You can electrochemical etch steel with salt water and a DC power supply. It creates gas, it's nasty, so the door is open. But I know this works, and I want to see if it works on titanium, because maybe I can do this to burn the groove in the titanium. This is scrap steel, just to show you that it actually works. After treating it for less than a minute and peeling off the vinyl mask, you can already tell that it's done something to the steel. So let's see if we get a similar result to this on the titanium. It's doing things. I believe it is working. The eyeballs on my little smiley face here are turning black and the liquid that's coming off is white, which is the color of titanium dioxide or titanium rust. Uh, when you do it to steel, it comes off black, which is the color of black oxide or FeO4, I think it is. That's how you know it's working on steel. Maybe the white is how you know it's working on titanium. But even though I'm Almost positive it's working right now. I wanna try baking soda water. It's another electrolyte. Sodium chloride is salt. Sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. So I'm gonna do this on the mouth, see what happens. The baking soda solution is doing something, but not very much, not very fast. Salt worked, I think. Let's peel this off and see how it turned out. This did work, but I'm not entirely happy with it because it doesn't have sharp lines like it does on the steel. So I might try a couple other experiments to see what I can get to work. Uh, I'm not gonna do that until the next video though, because I am extremely tired. So next time I will continue what is probably the coolest build I have ever done on this channel. If you wanna get your name on the table, there's a link to Patreon in the description. It's a dollar a month. That's how these people got their names on the table. Next time, You'll get to see that knife shoot out of that sheath and I'll start attaching all of the movement parts and everything. It'll be awesome. I'll see you soon. Bye.